Good morning. Today we will discuss in this short video the concept of hypothesis testing. So if you observe here H naught and H A two things are mentioned in two different colors. First of all alternate hypothesis or H A which I have written here as stock market returns are stationary. This is my fundamental belief or I want to prove this. So what goes into alternate hypothesis which either is your belief based on your work or based on your literature review or which you want to prove. This will go into alternate hypothesis. Then what will go to the null hypothesis which is H naught which is written in red color. Null hypothesis is exactly opposite of that. So my alternate hypothesis is stock market returns are stationary. So my null hypothesis is stock market returns are not stationary, just the reverse. Here I want to prove my alternate hypothesis. Always we want to prove our alternate hypothesis. We don't want the null to be successful. That is why I have put null in red color and alternate in green color. I have given two cases here. The first case or case one, what we have observed is that case 1 we have seen probability value or p value after the regression. So, this is post regression after OLS, post OLS, post OLS. Similarly, this is also post regression or post OLS. OLS means ordinary least square regression. Okay. So, the probability value in the case 1 is this 0 0.01 which is basically 1% so I am putting it in yellow color. So 1% is lower than 5% and 5% is our threshold, threshold up to which we can allow the errors. So that means it is below the threshold. So that means 1 minus that p value which is our occurrence is 0 0.99 that means 99% chance that Null alternate hypothesis will be correct. So always we will try for a case like case 1 because case 1 is what basically we want. We want this kind of thing to happen. We want that the probability value to be lower than 0 0.05 so that we can get a our alternate hypothesis accepted. So let me put it in some color, green color. So HA will happen. That means we will write it like this. Alternate hypothesis has been accepted. This is what we want. But suppose the results are not in our control. So suppose results are different. Suppose results are different. Results are something like this, the case 2. So case 2, what is the problem? Case 2, the problem is the probability value is 30%. So I am putting it under red color, 30%. 0 0.3 means 30%. So 30% is more than 5%. So that means 1 minus 30% means 70%. So that means only 70% chance that H A will happen. Only 70% chance that H A will happen. Let me take it this side because I have to write on the other side. Fine. So that means null hypothesis has been accepted. So null hypothesis says that stock market returns are not stationary. So unfortunately, in the case 2, null hypothesis is accepted. So these two things, these are indicative, just indicative so that you understand the clear picture behind hypothesis testing. So whenever any kind of hypothesis testing you do, whatever you want to prove that will go to the alternate. Whatever you don't want to prove that will go to the null, exactly opposite. Whenever the p value is low, then the null will go and the alternate will stay. 
I repeat, whenever the p-value is low, the null will go and the alternate will stay. And whenever the p-value is high, then the null will stay and the alternate will go. So we have a small poem. I cannot write it because it is not official. Just for your understanding, we say p low, null go. So p-value low, null go. And we say p high, that is p-value high. High means higher than 5%. Null fly. Null fly means null stays. So it's a small poem. During our college days, we used to hear this just for understanding. So this is a brief introduction about our hypothesis testing. Hope you liked it. Thank you.